had this all put together and uploaded on YouTube but uh, something happened when I exported the file to my external hard drive where the audio got messed up real bad and it basically played background music over my narration and I tried to fix it and re-upload it again but it was doing the same thing so this is gonna be attempt number two I'm just gonna reshoot the narration and uh, simplify the video and we'll see how that works so anyway, my wife and I have been putting in a lot of hours on uh, the new rally car here, and we've got pretty much everything stripped down. As you noticed in the time lapse, we uh, threw some dry ice on the floor pan and uh, whacked it with some hammers, and that took out most of the sound deadening. There's still a few spots here and there that'll need to be cleaned up, probably with a wire wheel, mostly where the seam sealer is, and uh, a few other little spots but other than that there's not much left in here it's pretty bare I've got this uh, airbag module that I need to remove I had to pick up another set of torque torx bits or tamper resistant torx bits I must have lent my set to somebody um, because I I had a set when I was building my S14 because I removed all the AB, or airbag stuff from that car and then I can't find them now, so I picked up another set. Good thing they're cheap. And then the handbrake needs to come out and the shifter needs to come out because I've got better units in the rally car that'll go back into this one. It'll be reused and recycled. HVAC stuff is all out. As you can see, there's no steering wheel or pedals or anything. Um, not a whole lot left to do up there other than pull the rest of the chassis harness through the firewall up there. Um, you notice we had we have removed the chassis harness in here. I uh, spent a little bit of time labeling important components like the fuel pump and the door switches and uh, the power mirror wires because uh, the plan is to strip down the chassis harness as much as is practical to eliminate unneeded circuits. It'll help simplify the wiring harness and help uh, lighten things up just a little bit. 
Um, if I wasn't doing like a full car prep, I probably would have just left it alone, but we'll talk about time frame here in a few minutes. We also got the engine pulled. That went pretty smoothly. It helps when you don't care. Things come apart a lot easier. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't reckless with anything. I was, I was careful about disconnecting all of the, the uh, pinned connectors and not losing the little retainer clips. I didn't break anything um, other than maybe a couple vacuum lines, but nobody cares about that. So this is what a quarter million mile GA16 DE looks like. Woohoo. If you know anybody who needs one, hit me up because uh, this is probably going to find its way into the scrap pile pretty quickly. Um, you could turbocharge it and put it in a lemons car. That'd be cool. Um, and I have one in the parts car too. But I might throw one of the engines in the wrecked rally car and try to sell it as a derby vehicle or something. I don't know. I don't know if there's a market for that. We'll find out. So anyway, uh, let's talk about the only significant corrosion area on this car, which is a typical issue on all of the Nissans from the 90s. They rot out under the battery tray. But this one's just surface rust, cosmetic. It's actually pretty solid still. Uh, I didn't even break any bolts over here. I didn't break any bolts anywhere, even on the exhaust. When we disconnected the downpipe and the uh, part that goes over the axle, they just zipped right apart. So that was awesome. I highly recommend buying a Southern car for a project vehicle. I'll be doing that more in the future for sure. Um, so yeah, glass is basically ready to come out. We got all the molding removed from the front and back glass. And uh, while we're talking about that part, I need to figure out how to remove the roof panel. Uh, it's not referenced at all in the factory service manual, but there's a seam back here, and uh, there's got to be a seam under here. Once we get the glass pulled, we'll probably be able to see it. And I imagine there's some spot welds in here someplace. We'll have to clean it up and, and uh, figure it out. If you ever have to build a roll cage, take the roof off. If you're paying somebody to do it, they will appreciate that, and so will your wallet. Um, we got some parts that aren't outside getting rained on. Um, chassis harness that I'll be stripping down. Some key exterior components that I would like to have spares for. And uh, pedals, steering, likely will not go back in because the, the steering column from the rally car already has my removable hub on it, so I'll probably swap that one over. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do with pedals. I really hate the cable clutch on this car, but converting it to hydraulic means either getting really creative or swapping the transmission. And I don't... I don't know that I want to do either of those. On the other side, I have a pedal box that I was going to put in my S14 that I could put in this car if I switch over to hydraulic. But I don't know. We'll see. So that brings me back to timeline. The deal is I talked to Ryan and uh, from Thompson Racing Fabrication, and we can't get the car up to him until the end of August. So... Um, my work schedule is really crazy in September. I won't have the time or the energy to put into this project. Um, so that leaves us with about three weeks, two to three weeks, depending on how things go at work, to fully prep the car after the cage uh, to get to LSPR, and that's highly unlikely. So I think we're going to target Snowdrift in January. And that's a more reasonable and more realistic time frame for a complete build for a guy who's honestly never built a rally car from the ground up. Been dreaming about it for a long time, but now we got to put some action into it and put some money in where my mouth is. I think that's all we're going to talk about for now. Um, we do have a rally race coming up this weekend, Snowdrift Summer Rally. I'll be co-driving for Bill and his Volkswagen, so we're getting the old band back together. Uh, Tri-City Evolution Rally Team, all in one car. 
and I'll probably be co-driving for him again at LSPR. So make sure you're checking us out on our Facebook and Instagrams, and stay tuned to my channel here because I'll probably have some updates on how the rallies are going, and as always, I'll be plugging away on stuff and putting videos together. So thanks for checking this one out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions, and I'll probably get around to answering them eventually. And we'll see you next time here in Dexter's Laboratory.